It's a wet Friday afternoon in San Francisco. Another show day for West Coast Pro Wrestling, one of the many independent leagues stippled across the Golden State. The pre-show atmosphere is familiar and frenetic. Wrestlers socializing and going over their matches, the clattering of the ring and the shrill hum of the occasional sound check. Crew members bustle around the assembly hall with a mounting anticipation, scrutinizing every detail as they prepare for the exhilarating and violent spectacle to come. But tonight is not just another show. As a quiet chaos circulates throughout the United Irish Cultural Center, one man stands calmly at the center of its orbit in more ways than one. This is Chris Hero, a 25-year veteran of the ring. Officially, he is the matchmaker of West Coast Pro, but behind that position, he's so much more. He's a producer, a point man, a mentor, a leader. And tonight, for the first time in more than three years, Chris Hero adds one more title back to his resume, wrestler. If you consider yourself a fan of modern wrestling, there's a chance you already know who Chris Hero is. But to the uninitiated, allow these folks to tell you. I mean, it would be cliche to say that, you know, everybody thinks of Chris as the uh, wrestling genius, but honestly, um, he is. Chris is the wrestling genius. Like, he really is the wrestling genius. In an era where men like Brian Danielson, Claudio Castagnoli, and Eddie Kingston are among today's biggest stars, Chris Hero fought right alongside them during those primordial days of modern independent wrestling. His portfolio includes some of the greatest companies from around the world versus some of his most celebrated contemporaries, Punk, Kingston, Joe, the list goes on. As the years passed, the knockout artist built a reputation as one of the best talents and brightest minds of his generation, one of the great bastions of independent wrestling. He's an innovator, a pioneer, and in many ways sort of the gold standard for a style of professional wrestling uh, on the independent circuit in particular. Without Chris Hero, there would be no independence. I feel like with Chris Hero just doing what he does and how much of a genius he is, he made being an indie wrestler popular. In 2017, Hero left that world to wrestle for WWE. Fast forward to April 2nd, 2020, an episode of NXT UK. Hero's brief involvement in a battle royal would be his last wrestling match for 1,350 days. Now to growing concerns about the deadly coronavirus officially hitting the U.S. The breaking news, stay at home. That is the order tonight from four state governors. By the time Hero's last match was broadcast, the COVID-19 pandemic had upended pro wrestling and all of daily life. Mere days after the episode aired, Hero was one of dozens of men and women released from WWE as part of a cost-cutting measure. As the pandemic slowly subsided, more wrestlers returned to action, even some who many fans thought would never come back, but not Chris. I kind of felt like he wasn't gonna, you know, wrestle anymore. I felt like he found his niche. Um, he, you know, he does seminars. He's been doing this uh, producer role for a couple different companies. Hero chose to stay out of the ring and the limelight, first for health and safety concerns, then for fear of being lost in the shuffle in an industry that moves at a breakneck pace. I wanted to find something that I was really genuinely excited about. Um, and I just couldn't see myself anywhere, really. Chris has remained a valuable contributor in wrestling, despite not actually competing. Signings, seminars, producing matches for All Elite Wrestling, and so on. But as the legend grows, the question remains, when is he going to wrestle again? This is Rachel Ellering. Rachel is Chris's fiance and has had a front row seat to the up and down journey that's led him here. I am thrilled. I'm just absolutely thrilled. Just knowing everything he's gone through in the last three and a half years to kind of get back to this point and, you know, knowing his heart is ready to be back out there and it's just a really big day. A second generation wrestler in her own right, Rachel knows a thing or two about the struggles of the business and the emotional weight of hitting the road while your partner stays home. 
once the pandemic eased a little bit, me going back onto shows and traveling and then him still being home was just a little odd, you know, to see his suitcase kind of stay there in the closet for a while and mine was still going. You know, it's it's hard to kind of travel and wonder if your person is okay at home, right? It, you know, is he okay being home? Is this what he wants it to be right now? And, you know, you just gotta be there as much as you can and support him. Rachel made her West Coast Pro debut in February of 2022. Chris came with her to host a seminar that weekend and after attending one event his passion was rekindled and you could just tell when he was behind the curtain watching the show that there was just a little more energy to him and just that excitement right it's almost like a boyish excitement and for someone who's been in wrestling 25 years to still love wrestling the way he does is remarkable right and i could just kind of see that kind of awakening in him again and you know just a, a sliver of the the doubt and the sadness kind of ease away and then just talking to scott you could see him get excited about stuff again a deal was soon brokered with west coast pro and before long chris returned as their official matchmaker and from the word go his influence behind the scenes has made a tangible impact well, we need like a Terry Funk. We need someone that has that respect and that knowledge, that worldwide um, reputation that can bring the eyes to our company. And But at the same time, Chris joked when I told him that, Chris joked and he said, yeah, but Funk wasn't producing matches. You know, he just has a lot of good advice to give you, and, you know, really help you out, progress wrestling-wise. Chris has been very adamant on trying to built me up and make me something that I've been pushing for. He'll come to the school and just like sit there with the students or sit there with, you know, pros that are wrestling all over the, the country and our world and just like showing them stuff like little random wrist locks or little random arm bars that trend so smooth transitions. And it's like, oh man, that's incredible. Like I would have never thought about that. It's added a layer of structure, of thought, of the why people should do certain things in and out of that ring. Just adding layers to what we do here at West Coast Pro, which was already phenomenal, but you add somebody with a mind like Chris Hero and you can only go up. He was gracious with the fan base who yearned for his return, a guiding hand for the young talent who sought his expertise and he had left an undeniable legacy in the ring. Any lingering questions of what else he could have accomplished between the ropes or how the loose threads of his old feuds could have been sewn back into the fabric of his career remained unanswered. Like, for example, with Timothy Thatcher, a sadistic and formidable tactician whose rivalry with Chris has spanned decades and continents. The last time these two locked horns was in 2019, when Thatcher bested Hero, submitting him with the Fujiwara armbar. In the years since then, the line between Hero the Man and Hero the Competitor has firmly been in place. But in October of 2023, that line was finally crossed when this old adversary picked his moment. Hey Tim, what you doing November 17th? It's going to be Timothy Thatcher versus Knockout Artist. Which brings us to today. After three and a half years of waiting, speculation, doubt, and even more waiting, Chris Hero finally makes his in-ring return. Not under the bright lights of a national company, not on TV or pay-per-view with thousands in attendance, but at an indie show streamed on YouTube. It may be mystifying for some, given the opportunities his acclaim and talent could afford him, but it's a perfect fit for the wrestling genius, a man who built his name in the assembly halls and auditoriums of the independents. Chris Hero could have gone anywhere in the world to get that match, but he chose West Coast Pro Wrestling for a reason. We work a lot of places, and you can feel special here. That's why it's so hot. That's why everybody wants to come and work here. Him coming out here and kind of establishing relationships at the school with the younger guys and getting to mentor a bunch of the guys who are on the shows, you know, Bounty Keith and Beef and Tankman and just kind of getting to see some of his, his guys, right? His kiddos be here with him, I think has just made it all the more special for him. And it's become his home, it really has. To know that this is the destination of where he chose is not only a compliment to what we do here at West Coast, but it's also an honor. All right, Chris, how you feeling right now? Sweaty. Yeah, sweaty. I got a nice little sweat going on. Um, God, I haven't had a match in forever, but 
have it warmed up for even longer, right? It's already stressful enough when I'm just kind of putting, you know, helping run the show. But when now I got a match, I got to figure out time to stretch. I got to make sure I'm hydrated. You know, I got to make sure I don't throw up in the ring. Um, just the process of sitting down, opening up your gear bag, getting your stuff out, getting your toiletries, getting, you know, your wrist tape. Um, yeah, it just stressful day I'm nervous but this feels right I feel, I feel comfortable the fans have filed in not just to support their local independent but to witness a piece of wrestling history him making his return for the first time in three years is truly an honor I had to represent this t-shirt tonight to see Chris Hero back in a ring, especially a West Coast pro ring, I'm more excited than ever. Chris Hero's coming back from a three and a half year absence from the ring, and I have no doubt that Chris Hero can overcome it. And most importantly, finally knock out Timothy Thatcher. I know he's going to bring it, he's going to kick ass, and I can't wait. It's going to be truly awesome. The stars of West Coast Pro fight to leave their lasting impression on a captivated audience. But in the end, everyone in this building is here to witness the return of a hero. As the hour approaches, both men reflect on the moment. Like, kudos to Scott, kudos to West Coast, kudos to all these people here. I really feel like I'm a part of something special. So I hope that by me having my match back here, they feel like they're part of something special. Too. Very happy for Mr. Hero's return. But it's probably going to be a short one because my plan is to break his arm or maybe I'll take his eye. We'll see what happens. From Sacramento, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, Timothy Thatcher! Three and a half years. How, how much, I mean, he is a legend. He's so celebrated, but how much does he have left in the tank after three and a half years? Already a chill-inducing moment. Time seems to stand still. An absolute legend in this industry. Chris is awesome. He's as hot as a good. Chris Hero is back. Of a young lion, plus the eye of the tiger, pummel you like he's a young Tyson. That young knockout kid splits your wig. Rivera Cloverleaf. This rivalry spans multiple continents, multiple promotions. Titles have been defended in other rings. These two men have gone to war, and tonight we have the great privilege of seeing these two go head to head. Is there doubt in Chris Hero? Doesn't look like it right now, but beneath the surface, what does he feel? out the window now. Chris Hero and Timothy Thatcher set to do battle yet again. What a storied rivalry. Look at the face on Tim. He is in a lot of pain. Chris had momentum for a moment, but it looks like that has all slipped away. Yeah, he's asking for another one. That old familiar feeling starting to wash over Chris Hero. He's realizing this is my home. Thatcher howling in pain. Thatcher really trying oh no. to get full extension, but in the ropes is Hero. Oh, Whoa. what a shot! 
Could be lights out for Thatcher as Hero follows up. Thatcher somehow blocked it and oh, got, it. got it! Hero got him! Victorious! No, not yet! Trying to weather the storm of Chris Hero. And right now he looks oh, like no. a mate. There it is! There's that sliver of opportunity. He's gonna make Chris Hero tap here. The Shades. Fujiwara armbar. She's got it fully locked in. Shades of 2015 here. Just furious, there it is. There it is, KO, Chris Hero. Does not win the matchup. That doubt starting to wash across him after three and a half years. Is that what is going through his mind? It is just not meant to be. Another counter from Thatcher. The big side, he down head first. Just going forehead to forehead. Another Saito. There is a voice inside his head telling him, I cannot die, I will not die. Third oh. Saito though. Hero kicks out at one. Hero kicks out at one. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, he's got oh. the Fuji. Is Hero got a Fujiwara of his own? He's got the Fujiwara lock in. Fujiwara from Hero. Is he going to make Thatcher tap to oh his own God. move? Chris Hero makes Thatcher tap. Chris Hero is back. Chris Hero wins. Here is your Unbelievable. After three and a half years, this long rivalry, his self-imposed hiatus, beating Thatcher at his own Chris game. Awesome. He's as hot as it get, the type to drop you quick with a mafia kick. Got the hunger of a young lion, plus the eye of the tiger, pummel you like he's... I just want to say, man, this journey here at West Coast has been more special than I could ever imagine. This is my ninth show working with y'all. It's my 11th show being in the building. And there's nothing like it, man. There's nothing like it. It feels like today I finally pulled a skeleton out of my closet. I tapped that motherfucker out. He left. He left with his tail tucked between his legs. He's gone, so I can take that and I can put it past me. And this just seems like a fitting end to a story. I'm just fucking with y'all. I want y'all to see me this side, West Coast, on my boots. Whether you cheer me, you boo me, you're from San Fran saying fuck LA, whatever you are, thank you. Thank you. How does it feel to be on the same card as the one where Chris Hero is coming back for the first time in three and a half years? It's actually kind of kind of crazy because I wouldn't have thought that oh yeah I'm about to be on the same card as Chris Hero somebody that I've watched YouTube videos of every like every night and studied for majority of my nine-year career it's such an honor to be in the same card as him and you know that fool that fool is pro wrestling you know just being on the card with Chris Hero and his big return it brings like a really big match feel. Like I stood next to Rachel the whole time and it was just like very surreal to watch him um, come out and you know, have a crazy good match with Thatcher. I was on the production. I did the directing for the whole show for his match and he trusted me with that, right? I queue up the, the, the camera that's on the entrance and this like overwhelming feeling of like goosebumps. Um, I was a part of that show. I, I, I helped with that show, you know what I mean? So I may not be on the card, I may not be on the vision, but all the clips that get shown, all the um, the content, as we like to say, right? That stuff's gonna live forever. The show has ended, the fans have gone home, the crew is still cleaning up, and all the while, Chris remains calm and collected, still at the center of everything. I'm tired, my body hurts, uh, I'm tired, did I say that already? It does feel good to have come out to music again, elbow bump with some fans, toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe with, with somebody that's a world-class pro wrestler, but then it also is kind of a reality check for like how much further I have to come. So it's just a matter of 
God damn, I have another match in two weeks. That sucks. It doesn't suck, but it's like, oof. So I just need to, yeah, man, it's back to work. It's, there's no substitute for wrestling. You can spend hours in the gym. You can spend stair machine. You can run laps. You can do whatever. But there's no substitute for getting in the ring and grappling with someone and getting dumped on your head. There's no substitute for that. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm happy. But I feel like... The work is just gonna start now. After more than three years of waiting, Hero was received with all the adoration and fervor deserving of his moniker. But in the end, Chris still defers to the people of West Coast Pro. I can't have a spot on the show just because of my name or because of what I done. Like, I need to be able to keep up with these guys, right? Um, so that that's in the back of my head. It's been seven years since Chris Hero has been a regular on the independent scene, so I can't pretend like everybody knows who I am or knows what I've done, right? I appreciate the appreciation, but I don't expect it, you know? I feel like I gotta earn my earn my, earn my keep around here still. Like, I, I, I'm proud to be a part of this place. Uh, I'm proud to kind of push it forward, you know, in a positive direction and, and push it sideways because it's just some different things that we're trying here, but makes me feel good. It makes me feel rejuvenated. Uh, it inspires me. Keeps me on my toes. Yeah. West Coast. It really is the story of the knockout artist's career, elevating others as he humbly crafts his own legend. In a business that's full of sharks, one that can get downright depressing at times, Hero's continued presence and the impact he leaves on wrestling is remarkably refreshing. He's the best wrestler I've ever met, the smartest wrestler I've ever met. I think a lot of people would say that. I say that as a wrestler, not as his fiance. He's spectacular, right? Chris sort of collects friends as he goes. He's just that type of person. He's, he just draws people in. Uh, he's just very passionate about everything that he does. Just the person that he is, man, is so crazy. He's like a legit, good-hearted human being. Like, oh, man, I'm, I could sit here and talk about how, how great person, how he takes care of everybody. He's just like genuinely an amazing person, and it's crazy because like we all looked up to him, man, and we would have never thought, like, man, what an awesome human. I have a lot to thank for him, you know what I mean? And. I don't think I'll ever be able to fully show that gratitude. He helped make professional wrestling. He helped make independent wrestling what it is today. On the Mount Rushmore of independent wrestling, right? Um, there's definitely a Chris Hero, in my honest opinion. So, much love, Chris. There's a lot of things I wanna do. There's a lot of places I wanna go. There's a lot of people I wanna share the ring with. I've waited this long to come back because I wanted it to be the right thing and I felt like today was the right thing. Now I have to find the next right thing. Chris is awesome. He's as hot as it get. The type to drop you quick with a mafia kick. Got the hunger of a young lion. Plus the eye of the tiger. Pummel you like he's a young Tyson. <laughs> That young knockout kid splits your wig. Rivera Cloverleaf snap you like a twig. You're more than welcome to step up and get effed up. From a hangman's clutch or hero's welcome. You're just a Joe Smo, he'll bust your chops. It's a KO once he hammer locks the cravat. Tomato cans don't stand a chance. 